Hey YouTubers, it's Stigma93 here, back with another Common Rider review this time. And <clears throat> this time, we'll be reviewing the uh, Common Rider Saber DX Storm Eagle Wonder Ride book. And of course, I got the box. There's Saber in the back with Storm Eagle kind of equipped already to him. So, so like, yeah, yeah. So, let's start with the packaging. So, obviously, I showed Saber. His main book is Brave Dragon, which is the side here. His middle book is Storm Eagle. But yeah, here's the front. Made by Bandai. Bandai. <laughs> so, here's uh side. Here's the other side with Saber's emblem. Common Rider Saber, sideways text, which, I think, yeah, sorry, it was upside down. Storm, oh, sorry, Storm Eagle Wonder Ride Book. Yeah. So, uh, there's the top with the driver, three books. The Storm Eagle is the one that goes here. Brave Dragon is here, and that, that one's Peter Fantastista, which actually is, uh, goes with Blades. Not Blade, Blades. Okay. So, yes, I'm gonna get that one, because it's gonna be, uh, part of my Halloween costume for next year. So. And, of course, naturally, I had to get the blue one that goes in the middle here. And make it the sweet, the Nagare Blade. Uh, with the Susuikin Nagare emblem that goes with there. But yeah, there's the top. Uh, bottom. Warning. Joking hazard. <laughs> Small parts. Not for kids under three years. And personally, for an, as an autistic my person myself, I know how some folks that, no matter how old they are, we tend to be some sometimes we're mentally younger than we actually are so personally this is just my opinion so don't get cranky for this is too much but personally if they can if they're mentally three years or older then I am okay with it personally with them having these if they're mentally younger than that then no it doesn't matter if they're over the age they say that they're okay with them having them if they're mentally not able to, you know, understand it, I just don't, personally just don't think they should have it, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. So, let's get to the back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to raise this up because the back gets pretty tall. Here we go. Alley up. All right, so. Dick, come in. So, here's the back. So, Saber, with, uh, in his dragon eagle form. There's the driver. The book goes in the middle. Brave dragon, storm eagle, and then when they... Oh, excuse me. Mm, excuse me again. When they bring out the third red one, that's going to make the whole Rekka uh, bookshelf full. So, yeah. When you pull the sword out, the books flip. They, put, they have uh, little pens at the bottom of where the books go that push n that button, which opens the second page, which for this review I will be doing because I don't have the driver just yet. I'm still working on that. But when we get to the book, I'll show it to you. So let's get back to the thing. So, yeah. And you can put it in by itself. But, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, there's also plenty of stuff there, and sad Pac-Man. <laughs> so, that's, yeah, basically it. Although, right quick, I do love that, that they made it look like a book. Uh, since the whole gimmick is based upon, you know, books. I love that. Okay, so that's it for the packaging. Sorry, it took me like four minutes to get through the packaging. Sorry. So, here's 
the Storm Eagle book, which unlike the progress keys from uh, previous seasons, there's no set Pac-Man molded on forever in shame on it. Okay, so, so yeah, uh, here it says Storm Eagle, shows a picture of Eagle. I love that picture, by the way. I, yeah, it's, there's three book slots here showing which part, which area on the Suiken, Suiken, uh, the Seiken Sword Driver, where it goes, which slot it goes in. This one goes in the middle, as you saw in the, uh, box that I just tossed to the side. So, of course, yeah, they have the side thing that says Storm Eagle, Kamen Rider. So, yeah, your better compartment, speaker, and you see that little slot thing? That's where they had the little thing that kind of, uh, keeps it off. Because once you pull that little white thingy out, this is pretty much on to the battery side. Pretty much. So, uh, your broke emblem, which you can scan with the sword once you pull them out of the driver. You can scan these uh, with the sword to make special attacks. Like like with my ZO, uh, the Ziku driver and the ZO ride watch, when you click the button on top and it says, uh, when it's inserted, after it's inserted, you've done the hinging on that one where it says finish time. Well, that's pretty much kind of what that does. So, and yeah, I love the side things. It kind of makes it also look like uh, one of those old school MP3 players with the, with, with the way that one looks. Uh, yeah, here's the little track thing that uh, goes on the, go, it, it, go, it slides into, into the uh, driver. And yeah, it also shows it. Uh, Right here too. Yeah, that's what the little grooves are supposed to be for. So, yeah, there's the top. You've already seen the bottom. Let's open it up. First page. Yeah, you can do those on your own time. Here's uh, the emblem for the eagle. And yeah, it has uh, wing, tail, Claw, right there. Yeah, tail feather, claw, uh, some other, it says uh, Storm Eagle on the side there. Has some other stuff down there, out the sideways, which I haven't worked on. I haven't translated personally yet. I'm still learning how to read this weird way of doing the English alphabet. Okay, so let's get down to the noises. So for the moment, I'm going to close this. You push this button. So there's that. And you open the book and for, you see that little tab thingy? There's a little itty bitty button in there that when you put push this, and push it like that, activates it, activates this. Okay, so there's that. Let me pull in Mr. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. So, here's where I always like to close it. So, you take something small, pointy like this, and then you get that. Get off. Thank you. Sorry. You push that button and it flips to the second page, which shows the Storm Eagle, basically the eagle form of Saber, which I love that design. With the wings over there, but I love the main page's design. Once again, Storm Eagle. Common Rider, then a bunch of other texts which I haven't translated yet. Still working on that. Uh, these ones and this one, which this little button. Let me get Mr. Screwdriver. Yeah, you see that in there? You 
push up on the button. Which I guess I get to it. Unlocks that, which unclips this. So it clips in right in there. Unclips it, that's why you get the second page open. Which, believe me, I've tried, unless you're seriously skilled, once this piece is clipped closed and you flip the second page open. Uh, sorry. Hush. For a minute. So, yeah. Uh, you can't unclip the uh, page two from that. Sorry. So, you can't unclip this from page one unless you like get in there but i'm not gonna do that with that because i would just tear this up and i don't want to tear it up any more than i already have but yeah so if you want to get back to page one you just close it and then reopen the front cover and there's page one. Oh yeah QR code free scan on me you're welcome <laughs> So, yeah. At, all in all, I really like this book. Now, I can't do any other noises without the driver. So, like my uh, progress key, which I have right here, with this one, my Final Fantasy Ryuki progress key, you'll have to wait till I get the sweet... Uh, so you can sword driver to hear the rest of the noises, which I will include this, the Storm Eagle, in the review of the belt. Okay, so just like this one with the review of the Force Riser, because, well, the Force Riser for this guy is a lot cheaper than Zero One's uh, belt. Zero One's is like a hundred something on Amazon right now, which... I don't have 100 something, whereas the uh, Force Riser is like 50 something. Same with the uh, uh, one from the Thousand Driver from Zaya, the, the Zaya guy. So well, let me toss that aside. And then, yes, eventually I'll get one of the X8 ones. And yeah, I'll do a review of this too. Uh, same with. my ghost icon, my Robin Hood icon. You'll see that one in a different review. Uh, I've already done the ride watches I have, and that's pretty much all my common Rider stuff is my book, my progress key, so I have two from the railway period. Zero one, then this one. Then I have ones from the uh, Heisei era, or Heisei period, whichever one you want to call it, it's the same thing. Whereas you have the X-Aid, this is kind of a double, double, <laughs> in my opinion. Because it's from X-Aid, and it represents Kamen Rider Double, so. I, I just wanted to make a joke about that one. And real quick, uh, for the progress key, what, the reason I chose Ryuki uh, as I explained in the re in this one's video, um, it was the first one I ever saw. Granted, yes, I watched the American, the, the English version first, before the original Japanese version with subtitles. I love the English version. I love the Japanese version. So, for me, Ryuki was my Zero One. The first Rider series I ever watched. So, and Zero One, Common Rider Zero One, was the first rider of the Reiwa period. So, for me, this is kind of, you know, I love, out of all progress keys, I love this one the most. I've seen all of the ones they've released, but this one, by far, is my favorite, because... Like I just said earlier, I 
my first one was Dragon Knight, or Ryuki in the Japanese version. That was my first ever Kamen Rider. That's what introduced me to the show. After that, I kind of had a... I wasn't involved in the TV series until, like, Ghost came around. Then I kind of started watching pretty much every episode as it came out. So there's that. But yeah, I, I used to watch Ryugi. Or, yeah, Ryugi and its American counterpart, Dragon Knight. Which, like I said, was my very first writer series I ever watched. So, and Zero One was the first writer of the Re Rewa period. So that's why I did this particular one. That's why, that's why I bought this this key. This book I did. And I did not mean for that to happen. I am so sorry, y'all. But yeah, back to the book. <laughs> sorry, it took me a little bit here. So back to the book. I love the book. I love that they use books to get their powers with this. Yes, I loved every, pretty much every common Rider from ghost through uh zo i've seen every one of them every episode and yes even some of the specials and the movies for each of their respective writers so pretty much i watch from ghost so ghost x aid build and zo that's the ones i watched as they came out but yeah i went back When I wasn't, when I was waiting on each of the episodes to come out, and watched the series previous to that, the only ones I have not seen yet are the very first two of the Heisei period, which are Kuga and Agito. I have not gotten around to those yet, which I could start soon. But and the the way they inshin or transform. Uh, it's kind of off to me. I, I I realized that they were made like in the early 2000s, so, you know, computer graphics weren't as advanced as they are now, looking back, but I know they were the most advanced at the time. I get that. So no argument there. But I tend to have a harder time when I go back and real, and s in comparison to seeing today's writers... I'm still working on it. I, I still have personal issues with... I mean, even Ryuki, I still have issues. A little, a few issues with here and there. With the aspect that... Yes, I get... I still get that... It was the most advanced... CGI they had... Or computer graphics they had at the time. For shows like that uh, for this show but in comparison to looking at today uh, to looking at Saber for me what separates the the two Heisei periods uh, the Heisei period into two is everything from uh, Kuga to Decade were like for me one one era of the um, I'm trying to think here, sorry, give me a minute. Uh, one area of the computer graphics at the time. And then part two is Kiba through ZO is another part. So to me, Heisei is separated into two sections. Okay? The 2000, like, for me, I think it was, like, early 2000s till like, the 2010, which was right around Kiba. Yeah, Kiva was 2010 through uh, 2011. So, oh, yeah. No, Kiva was in the first part, sorry. Because Kiva came before Decade. Decade, double. From double to Z.O. is part two for me. Sorry. Still had to get my time, uh, had to get my timeline straight in my head. So sorry. But this is taking like 20 minutes in 10 seconds. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, but yeah, there's pretty much my review of the Storm Eagle for now.
So this is a to be continued. And so yes, you will get the remainder of the sounds, but I have to get the driver first before I can review any more sounds out of this. So for now, you're kind of like me, you're kind of stuck with the main, well, three sounds. So you get lucky on this one instead of the, instead of like you did on the, um, like we did on the Provice key. So you kind of get three sounds there. Other than that, th there's no other sounds that can be played right now on this thing. Although, real quick, let me show you a trick that I found that I did not put in my Ryuki video. In, in my Zero One Ryuki key, Progress key. So, I found a really neat trick with these. So, in the Zero One uh, driver, you have that little area where you, s you know, stick this to scan it to authorize right so let's click it and then in that same area stick it next to this authorize. and then the it just blanks and if you click the button that's all you get and that's where it would click the driver would click both of these when it was inserted, it would click both, but then retract the top one. So the bottom one is where uh, you would hear the 13 Dragon Knights. But to uh, stop it from the blinking part, just click the bottom and let it go. And then it gets back to the... So, yeah. Sorry, that was a real quick Easter egg for you. That the same scanning device that they use for the books you can use to authorize your progress keys. I found that by accident. Like seriously, I I had these two in my pocket, right? And then I hear suddenly from my pocket, authorize. I'm like, whoa, did I just discover an Easter egg by accident? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Which Apparently is true. Shush. Yes, I know you're Storm Eagle. Say it right on the book. Yes, so shush. Sorry. But yeah, I discovered an Easter egg with that. I found that quite funny. Oh yeah, there's your speaker for that. Sorry, didn't mention that. Forgot to mention that earlier. But yeah, I found that quite, quite funny. That the book scan part can authorize your progress keys. One up, you, Mgo! One up! <laughs> and I got this before Mgo got it for his books, uh, for his sword driver. I find that that's really awesome. That between me and him, I'm the first one that has Storm Eagle. Bum, 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 bum. Boing. So, that's the end of the Storm Eagle review, and sorry it's taken me like 23 minutes, 24 minutes to kind of go through this. It, I'll try not to um, monologue as much as I did with this one, and uh, like the ones previous to this, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Stingmon93, signing off, y'all. With Storm Eagle.